Hey guys, it's Brandy, and here is part two of the What Sold for March 2020. All right, guys, so let's get started. Uh, first up, we have a 1996 Daddy Long Legs Black Santa Claus made, um, uh, made by uh, Karen. I am not really familiar uh, with this company. However, I did, I was at an auction and I looked them up to see who it was, how much they were worth, um, and decided if I got the chance, I would go ahead and get them. At any rate, this one sold for $122. I did take best offer. Um, it shipped for, it shipped uh, domestic for $15.12. And as you can see, he's, he hasn't really been um, displayed or used. He's still wrapped. Um, they still have their box. Here's the box. So that was all included, and it was noted to the buyer uh, in the description that the item would be shipped in the box that it came in, and that was uh, displayed in these photos. However, I did wrap it with um, uh, the brown craft paper, which I really don't like to use, but uh, for, the, for things like this that come in their original box, I do. So um, there's the tag just so you guys can see that in the box. All right, next up is a, a Disney Through the Years musical snow globe. And as most people are aware, if you're not, I guess this is a bolo for you. Most of the, um, the snow globes do very well. Uh, excuse me, most of the Disney snow globes do very well. This one is actually a bookend. It is a, um, it is, it, there's another half of this one. I can't remember who's on it. Um, but uh, it, it's made so that you can uh, have books uh, on your shelf sit next to it. And it was in really good condition. I actually picked this one up at a thrift store, um, a higher end thrift store. It was marked at, uh, I believe, $12, but I, I did have a, um, uh, I think it was Military Day at that one, if I remember correctly. So I did get a percentage off. I believe I paid $7 for this um, because of, of that discount. And it works. I made sure I put that in the description um, that, you know, the winder works, it plays music, and it blows the, um, let me go back here, it blows the, 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 the I don't know, the glitter. There's actually a motor <laughs> in it that it um, blows it around. It's not like you just um, <laughs> turn it upside down and, uh, and, you know, make the glitter move anyway. <laughs> This one did sell for best offer of $55 even. Uh, it was shipped uh, to Texas for $28.54. So it did, was heavy, <laughs> which caused that cost to go up. All right, the next one isn't, isn't the greatest sale, but I put it in here just so I can let you guys know about the bad sales. I'd hate for you guys to pick up stuff uh, without having, you know, I'd like to let you guys know if I could, at least from my experience. These are pretty ugly dolls, plush, and they had a whole series, and they actually had a movie that came out. Uh, I don't remember how long ago. I picked these up in, in different yard sales, ironically, last summer, and um, they just they just would not they just did not sell, even though there was one new with tags, and they were all in pretty good condition. Um, they just didn't sell, so I finally just put them up for auction, and as you can see, the winning bid was $19.49. So not, not a great um, item that I would recommend picking up. Uh, I definitely recommend staying away from it, uh, just for that fact uh, that it didn't sell as well. Alright, next up we have some Playtex uh, bottles, along with some drop-in liners, rings, and caps. Playtex is a big bolo brand. Uh, I actually have had two of, I had three sets of these. Uh, this is the second set I sold, I believe. I have one more set. Uh, the, the nipples that came with them, I actually sold separately, and they sold immediately when I listed them. Um, the nipples sell for, I, I sold them five, five and a lot for 50 or 60 bucks per lot. So that, <laughs> just, just, just remember that, and it's the brown nipples, the older ones, that you want to look out for. And anyway, this one did sell for $36.49 uh, for the lot of bottles, and um, 
what are these things called, guys? The liners. <laughs> and you'd think it was been a long time since I had my kids. Anyway, uh, this lot did sell for uh, $36.49, and it was shipped uh, for $8.61. Actually, let me go back. These are vintage. Uh, these are not the new ones. Uh, I did want to, I should mention that. You can tell because of the color and the way that uh, the graphics are. Um, the newer ones are clear. They look more like bottles, like regular bottles instead of just like cylinders now. Um, and they have different updated graphics. So I, I did want to mention that uh, these are vintage and those are the kind that you really want to look out for. All right. Next up, we have a vintage Posen Pepper doll, and I don't know if both of them are Posen. I believe both of them are Posen Pepper dolls with clothes and uh, doll case. Now, if you follow my channel or if you've seen one of my uh, most recent doll highlight of the week, it is a series that I do every Friday where I talk about a doll and I show you who she is, what kind of clothes she usually comes with her. Um, and if she's valuable or not. Now, I did this doll I think about two weeks ago so I will put that link above make sure you check it out. Uh, good way to get up on your dolls um, so you can be on the lookout for them. <laughs> Alright anyway this uh, is a lot and as you can see some of the, uh, most of these clothes are original I think maybe three things are not originally peppers and I do make sure I display those tags because that can be important to collectors. This doll did sell for full at this. I'm sorry. This lot did sell for full asking price of $143.49, and it was shipped domestically for $9.34. Now a lot of these in this particular one, some of them I don't know what I paid for the dolls. Uh, uh, they're with my Barbie lot. I usually pay about 50 cents to a dollar per piece when I buy lots. That includes shoes, clothes, dolls, and everything that is in whatever case that it is I'm purchasing. Right. And not far behind that, this literally sold like um, the next day or something. So I guess maybe it brought them up in the algorithm because they were both listed. Uh, this is another Vintage Ideal Pepper Lot. Um, this, they are different dolls. This one is hard plastic and this one is a bendable doll. Uh, they did come with all their all these clothes. Again, most of their clothes are original. There are a few pieces that are not original in here, but most of them are. And again, guys, just make sure that you are showing any flaws because um, the, the, the collectors really want to see that. Um, as you can see, some of these shoes are dirty, and sometimes I just can't get in all of the shoes. I can do my best, but I can't do all of this stuff sometimes. But they just want to see. They want to see if the tags are in them. They want to see if there's any marks on stuff. And again, don't be afraid to show that stuff. That doesn't usually make or break stuff. Uh, they just want to know. So this lot did sell for full asking price, I believe, of, um, let me see. And one day I will be prepared, I promise. <laughs> I laugh because it's probably not true. <laughs> Yes, this one did sell for full asking price of $131.49. It was shipped domestically uh, for $9.60. This is a different buyer than the previous one over here. <laughs> so they are not the same person. Alright, next up is a fun little sale that I had. It was actually a pretty quick sale. It is a vintage Dakin Mini Plush. And as you can see in the, uh, just in the title that I have a question mark here because the, I know who Drooper is, I've seen the other dogs, but this doesn't really look like him unless they made a different one that I just haven't been able to find or see. Um, when I was doing research trying to find one that looked like this, I couldn't. And so I just took a chance and put Drooper in so because since it's a Dakin plush um, so that it would, you know, I guess pull up in the algorithm with those dogs and again the person who will find it they'll know what it is <laughs> um, so this one did uh, in my opinion sold pretty quickly it sold a week later uh, for a full asking price of $25.49 uh, it was shipped for $4.60 domestically
So don't be afraid to put stuff up um, if you don't know what it is. Just just give it a try. Somebody out there knows what it is, and they'll make that purchase if they want. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have a vintage Kenner Beethoven II movie plush dogs. And if you're a movie fan, you've heard of this movie before. I want to say uh, 90s. Uh, I could be wrong, but it was a movie that came out with the family and the dogs, and you know, big big thing. Um, I actually found these plush at one of my favorite um, thrift stores that is local to me and it's actually located on a military base uh, that I live near and uh, I actually frequent that store, I used to frequent that store and I recently, I went back before the whole coronavirus thing started and um, decided to take a look around and um, I found these guys. They cost me five dollars. Yes, they cost me five dollars <laughs> for all of them. Um, and as you can see, they are okay. They do have some stains on them. I did make sure I put that in the description. Um, see at the bottom here, he's got some stains here. And it was some, some stuff that I could not get out. I did rub them down and kind of get the surface dirt off, but there was still some things. But that did not matter. This sold for full asking price of $91.49 and was shipped domestically for $8.40. And there's a little tag so you can see it does say, yep, it was 1993, Beethoven was second. And they all had their tags, which was cool. So that was a great sale. Don't, don't, don't forget about those plush. A lot of those plush do really well. Next up is a vintage G.I. Joe um, boat and accessories. I had this for a while. I had this since last year. I didn't know what it was, and I had been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, and I finally did some research on this. Um, uh, I want to say, um, I finally did some research on it before I listed it, obviously. And um, I, it took me a while, but I was able to find it because it's such a rare item that I couldn't find one that was complete. And at first I had to figure out what it was. And I didn't know it was G.I. Joe because it says, I want to say it says Mattel on the bottom, and I get a lot of Barbie stuff. And this came with um, a huge Barbie lot that I bought last year. So that's why I put it off. I had done all my Barbie stuff from that lot, and I just kind of, hmm. The AT, you know, it threw me off. I was thinking A-Team, and I couldn't find it then. But anyway, um, after, you know, much research, I was able to find it. This sold for full asking price of $194.49 with shipping domestically for $7.54. So there you go. If I had just um, researched, <laughs> sat down and researched it, I could have got that money last year. I'm sorry. Actually, it says Hasbro and Pawtucket on the back. So, um, yeah, that was difficult to find. Um, that was my only markings, and just nothing was coming up. But it's because it's a very rare item to find. All right, next up we have a My Little Pony G2 Seabreeze. Um, she is a mail order pony. Make sure you guys look at mail order stuff um, when, you, when you're looking up items and toys and if you can't find anything or even if you're just doing research, double check mail order because a lot of stuff was done that way and it still is um, when you get those special mail order items. So um, she was in pretty good condition. She had a few marks on her, um, but overall her hair was in, uh, I'm pretty sure I did her hair, but uh, she, she, she was in Why decent condition. She did sell for the full asking price of $38.49. I love my little ponies. <laughs> All right, and, oh, and I'm sorry, she shipped for $5 domestically. Next up is another one of those Daddy Long Legs uh, Santa dolls. I'm sorry, Santa display. I don't know what you call them. Anyway, uh, this one too call, uh, cost me fifty. Um, it was a multiple auctions lot where they you were bidding on how much to pay for that item. So uh, I I bid fifty dollars and I got to choose if I wanted just one or more. So I I picked up both of these as you saw at the beginning of this video. Um, anyway, uh, again, this is a 1999 Daddy Long Leg Santa, and he's pretty cool. He's looking good in his um, his blue uh, his jacket, isn't it? Uh, his little um, 
anyway, uh, this guy did sell for a uh, best offer of $130 uh, plus sh uh, shipping domestically for $45.96. He went all the way to Washington State with the cowboy boots too. I forgot about that. <laughs> And again, he did have his, he also had his box with him. So be, be on the lookout for Daddy Long Legs, guys. All right, last but not least, we have this lot of vintage Newsweek magazines. Now, I will put a disclaimer in here. You do have to be careful when you're putting World War II and um, things from that era up online because uh, of their connection to to obvious reasons to the war and the Holocaust and all that stuff um, so you got to be careful with that stuff you can't actually list it worldwide so this was not listed worldwide it was only listed and available uh, for the US um, at any way I bought a huge lot of these uh, last year at a yard sale for 20 bucks and I mean it was a box full a paper box full uh, I've sold several lots of them last uh, last year. I sold two lots of them, one for $200 and I'll, another one for $140. Uh, so I still have a few left, as you can see. Um, and it's pretty cool to get these magazines. You get to really look at and read what was going on back then. Um, you have all the pretty cool advertisements, which I just think are so cool. You know, look at the pictures. And then I also make sure I show what's inside because some of these had some stains and most of the stains were like from the advertisements. Although this one with the red, I think they actually spilled some in it, uh, some kind of beverage in it or something. But I do make sure I open up the book so that you can kind of get an idea of what's inside and uh, also that they know that these are damaged. Uh, this did sell for a best offer of $40 and it was shipped domestically for $8.40. But again, I sold a bunch of these last year, and I from that 20 bucks, I guess I've made, I've, made, I've sold over $300, um, almost uh, over $400 by now from that one lot. So, vintage ephemera, if I'm saying that right, I hopefully, which basically means vintage paper goods, um, really go well. All right, there you go, guys. So that was part two of what sold during March 2020, just on the rim of Ma of May coming up. <laughs> so I can make sure that I can get April done for you guys next week. So I'm all caught up. I hope you enjoyed that video. There were some hits and, and, and maybe a miss or two in that one. But that's, that's the way the luck goes. As long as it's getting sold, really, and getting out the door, I'm happy. <laughs> Sorry for the background if it's a little distracting. I kind of came with the free time I had while the kids are gone to do the video and I, you know, moving the, uh, the whole screen. That was just, <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to know if you've gotten any of these items or if you've ever sold any of them, or maybe if you've seen them at the store and decided to pass up on them. I know I've definitely seen that in other people's videos, seen what they have and been like, oh my gosh, I saw that at the store. <laughs> so at any rate, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe and clean and happy listing.